Light brings clarity and answers. A method that can shed more light on medical questions is near-infrared spectroscopy. How does it work? And what can it do for medicine and medical technology? We talk about this with Professor Wilhelm Bloch here at the German Sport University Cologne. Professor Bloch, what exactly is near-infrared spectroscopy? Near-infrared spectroscopy is a measurement method based on light with longer wavelengths. This light is sent through tissue and is partly absorbed there. The rest of it comes out of the tissue again. The wavelength is the special thing with near-infrared spectroscopy. Part of it is absorbed by the red blood color, hemoglobin. And how big this part is depends on whether the hemoglobin is oxygenated or not. What kind of light source do you use here? Each light source basically has a specific wave spectrum. We use sources that emit light with longer wavelengths ranging between 680 to 720 nanometers. This is the optimal range to penetrate tissue. You can imagine it like this. Take an infrared lamp and put it against your hand. On the other side of your hand, you see some of the light shine through. This light has exactly this kind of wavelength, and the part which is not absorbed shines through your hand. Could you please explain to us what kind of analyses one can perform with this? Grundsätzlich kann ich eigentlich jedes Gewebe, was ich von von außen We can basically measure oxygen saturation and oxygen content in every kind of tissue we are able to reach from outside the body. We mainly use it at the muscles, a little bit at the skin too. But in sports the muscles are the most interesting. And because we can measure the oxygen content of the muscle layers on the surface, we are able to see relatively well if tissue is well supplied with blood and if it contains much oxygen. We can also see how much oxygen is used during exercise stress testing. Using this, we are also able to test for efficiency. How much oxygen does an athlete use during clearly defined exercise? This allows a conclusion about his performance. What advantage does near-infrared spectroscopy offer compared to other methods? Near-infrared spectroscopy is non-invasive. We don't need to prick test people to take a blood sample. This would otherwise be the case when we want to measure oxygen levels. This would be invasive and we wouldn't be able to do it continuously. It's relatively easy with near-infrared spectroscopy. We just stick a sensor to the skin instead. This doesn't hurt, we can do it continuously and during stress exercise. For example, a test person could ride an ergometer and we can dynamically measure blood supply and oxygen saturation. But there's also another potential use in research, at the head. Using other methods, we are not able to measure blood supply and oxygen saturation in the brain just like this. But we can at least reach the superficial layers of the brain with near-infrared spectroscopy. I could basically put on sensors now and we could see which superficial regions of the brain are working while I'm talking to you. We could see that these regions have a better blood supply at the moment because they're working more. And we could also see that they use more oxygen because they're working more. Where do you see future uses for this in medicine? Sensor technology is becoming finer and finer and miniaturization continues. So near-infrared spectroscopy is something that could increasingly be used away from the laboratory. 
like for monitoring purposes. A test person or a patient could wear a small sensor on his body, like a bracelet or a belt, that continuously measures oxygen saturation. We could monitor if his oxygen saturation reaches a critical value or if it decreases during certain exercises. These are new possibilities that we have, as well as in diagnostics and monitoring. Thanks for talking to us, and I wish you all the best for your future research.